Hello everyone, I'm back. Been gone a while because I've been trying some new things. And that is to digitize the model that I have, the car that I have. So that I have a record of it and if I decide I want to keep this version, I can come back to it in the future. And it's been having issues. I have a scanner, actually an expensive scanner, um, and software. The problem is that I'm doing it outside and it doesn't like direct light. Um, so what happened is when I was trying to scan it, everything above the belt line didn't even show up. Even though in the preview it showed up just fine, when I tried to scan it, it just thought it was blank space. So I did get part of the front end scanned and it came out rather well. But it took a good 30 minutes of, you know, tedious work. Anybody that's scanned before, uh, it's pretty tedious to do. Anyway, uh, that was yesterday when it was uh, sunny and unbelievably hot, 100 and some degrees out here. Uh, in the interim, it rained. So I had to stop because of the rain. Uh, so I went in and before the rain started, I took a bunch of pictures in the effort to use photogrammetry. So there is a free tool called uh, Meshroom, and what it does, it allows you to take pictures and it converts those pictures into a 3D object. Apparently it works great on small things or, I don't know, some things. A guy did a statue, so it was a big statue. Worked on it. Uh, let's see, some of the issues are one, the car doesn't have a lot of detail. Uh, also, photogrammetry doesn't like shiny objects. In this case, it's actually good. It's white primer, so it's not really shiny. Uh, so that helps. But it doesn't have a lot of texture, which causes an issue. Uh, the more surface features something has, the easier it is for pho photogrammetry to figure it out. Uh, let's see. So one of the other things is you're not supposed to change the zoom on your when you're taking the pictures. I didn't know that. So I was changing the zoom to always get the entire car in the picture thinking, oh, if it sees the whole car, it can figure it out better. Well, it can't. So I ended up with this mishmash of a bunch of dots after, let's see, 12 hours of processing. So I'm going to try that again. The problem is it's very uh, computer processor intensive. So as soon as you start it, your computer's useless for until it's done. So that's 12 to 14 hours of processing. Uh, the other thing is I took 130 photos. It said for something the size of a car, some of the online tutorials said I need more like four or 500 photos. So uh, after I get the scan with the scanner as best as I can, then I'm going to move on and take uh, as many photos as I can take. I don't think I'll get to four or 500, but I'll do more than the uh, 130. Again, it's kind of a tedious process to take that many photos. Sorry, it's hot out here, uh, I'm sweating. Um, so this morning, there, the rain, it rained hard this morning, and then it stopped. I came out, it was still sprinkling, so I thought, oh, I'll wait till the sprinkling stops. Then, of course, as soon as the sprinkling stops, the sun comes out. So let me show you. If you look, I may have an issue. It says you should not be able to, ideally, you should not be able to see a shadow. Well, you can clearly see a shadow underneath this car. But if I look up at the sun, there's clouds. Sun's getting ready to go behind the clouds there. So hopefully in uh, a few minutes. And then there's more clouds. The clouds are moving from my right to left. So it should be able to uh, be overcast for quite a while once those clouds hit, assuming they go in the right direction. Ah, it's already starting. So you can see the shadow is becoming less. Doesn't look a lot less on the picture, but it looks a lot less in person. Um, so anyway, um, I was going to bring the laptop out and show you the, the photos of it. Uh, I haven't done so. Oh, and the rain, of course, put mud on the bottom. Uh, that's going to add some texture. Uh, let's see. So I have a little uh, TV table, TV tray table sitting out here. There's my scanner. I have yet to bring the laptop out. Um, I was going to wait, and then I, I don't know, jumped the gun and started to do this video. All right, so my goal is to get enough of an image here so that I can send it off to a guy and get it processed, cleaned up. Whenever you scan, it's always messy. Uh, it gets you the general idea. Uh, the front end came out really well in the scan. I'll show you a picture of it in the next video. Uh, but I, if I can get the rest of the car that good, then I'm ready to go. Uh, a couple things is, 
you get uh, conflicting issues of what you need to do. So one of them says you need to be close to get a picture. But the problem is it needs enough detail to be able to figure out what goes to what to stitch things together. So there's not a lot of detail. Uh, there might be. So I'm going to try both. I'm going to try taking some pictures up close. And especially because I do need detail about this area right here and then that other area on the other side. Um, like I said, it did come out really well. Uh, the scanner did. So hopefully the photogrammetry will too. Ah, there we go. Now the shadow's almost gone. So I best get to work with my scanner, get going. But I definitely want this area digitized because that took a lot of work to get that area smooth and looking right. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to cut off the front end and put the uh, Grand Sport front end. They're going to replace the hood with the Grand Sport hood. And then I have no earthly idea what they're going to do on the sides. You know, as, I, as you know, the two sides are different. Um, I'm going to pretty much give them free reign and let them do whatever the heck they want uh, to fix this thing. So <laughs> no telling what I'm going to get as an end result. But we'll see. Um, I know I'll be pleased with this all. I've seen their work before. So uh, their work is just stunning. All right, that's all I have for now. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the alert, uh, hit the thanks if you want to donate. And um, I'll see you next time. And remember, if you don't know what I'm doing, you don't know Jack. Bye.